What's going on guys? So today I'm here with Dan and I'm gonna be starting a Shopify store from scratch and trying to be doing it through YouTube and a couple other things. So I'm gonna have Dan give me some pointer tips because he's the expert and tell me kind of what my strategy should be and how I should set it up. Cool, yeah, so um, I'm coming into this completely blind, just so everyone knows. It's not like he talked to me about it way beforehand. So I'm gonna be working with what I have. Um, essentially, kind of give me a rundown on who you're trying to target, what the store is for, because every store needs to be based around like you know a certain niche or a certain audience. So give me like the lowdown. Okay, so to tie this in with personal branding, I'm gonna be promoting it through my YouTube and then running ads, but really trying to initially scale it with my YouTube audience. So it's an entrepreneur store, so anything an entrepreneur would need, whether it's cool gadgets or just useful things, pretty much anything in that niche. And then I'm gonna break it down by different categories. So if you're a YouTuber, these are kind of the things you should use. Or if you sell on Amazon or Shopify, this is what you should do. So I added some products in there. because it was super easy to set up and I just don't know where to go from now or kind of what strategy I should use, especially with designing it also. Yeah, yeah, so that's the first thing I looked at is the design. Because uh, when it comes down to um, like entrepreneurial niches, we have to realize is that um, it all kind of stays the same. Like if you look through through various niches of, let's just say you're, you're into like dog supplies. <laughs> if you went on Chewy.com, Petco, they all look the same. Yeah. So essentially, um, I kind of wanted to go out there and look at different entrepreneur. I don't know if you're like the first one. I've never- There's not many. Research. I've done research and there's a couple, it's mainly t-shirts and then some random right. like gift things, but nothing really cool like no one has like oh the best entrepreneurship gadgets like yeah. i tried looking that up and i found like one article and it was just normal tech gadgets and that's yeah. it so i think i think the best route to follow is crafting your design and flow around uh, you know an entrepreneur based store whether it's selling t-shirts or not but just somebody who is proven like startup drugs um for example mm -hmm. they sell they sell a lot whether it's pillows shirts they sell a lot of different things their layout is really really nice so you want to kind of get um, and design around that. Now, I don't know how much emphasis you're putting into this, so you have one of two options. You can use a free theme, or you can get somebody to, like one of your designers to design a page, and then just get it put into HTML, because essentially what you can do is, uh, depending on the theme that you Let's choose. Let's go with a free one and just see. Right. Or if you want to show me an example of a store you know that, that uses has, it, that's that a cool a, one. Cut, that has like a custom, what, what do you mean? Like what you think a good theme for me would be, whether you want to show I it think I think simple is, is a great yeah, theme, or boundless too, um, but for simplicity purposes, we're gonna stick with simple. Okay. So we'll add that in there. And if you guys are wondering what we're gonna do with this series, I want to be in the same boat you guys are starting from scratch. I'm gonna use no money other than maybe the Shopify subscription or whatever that is. Right now I'm on the free trial. So we're gonna be going through this step by step, whether Dan's here or not, and just showing you what I'm doing, what's working, what's not in my whole strategy. So Cool. So again, first we're gonna figure out the design. Second, we're gonna figure out the most important part is the back end. A lot of people will go out there, they'll put products first, and then they'll go and almost kind of like what you did. You put products first, worry about design, and then in the back end. It should be more so the design flow, add the products in, and then you go out, build the back end, and then okay. start running traffic. So we have, you're gonna have to customize all this. So if you just yeah. go ahead and, I mean, you can do, you can do a lot if you customize it. Whoops. I hate how your Left mouse click. works. Yeah. So I'm just, going over really quick. You can figure this all out on your okay, time because yeah. this takes we'll like this. the longest time. But this is where you go and edit everything on this particular page. All right, okay. so that's what, or on your entire site. Next thing is getting your shipping settings correct, okay? So shipping, shipping right here. This is where, we just keep scrolling really quick because sometimes your personal, there we go, your personal info pops up at the top and we don't want everybody to have that. So right over here, shipping zones, this is overlooked. Now. Where are you selling? Are you selling worldwide? Yes. Okay. Which becomes the question, are you drop shipping? Yeah, I'm going through, so I set it up through a bare low. Okay. Um, if that's the easiest way, I'm not sure, so. Uh, yeah, it is. If you're, if you're drop shipping, it's, it's fairly easy. You can add it in manually, it doesn't really matter. Um, so, we have different, this is gonna be dependent on you. Mm -hmm. You can have this as is for calculated rates and USPS will go ahead and calculate for you automatically okay. when somebody's at checkout. However, the smartest way to go about it is price-based rates. And it's, as you can tell, we're in the US right here. You can add more countries as well. Okay. But if you do price-based rates, what happens here is um, you choose a flat rate price mm -hmm. for, for anything. And this is, this is important because you're able to make more money 
on shipping. Shipping is, is a way for you to kind of increase the AOV. So if you have standard shipping, so just type in SH for me real quick. And then uh, just let's say that your standard shipping for any product, no matter what it is, is four ninety nine. Let's go with you can change okay. that as you need. So there we go. And now this shipping cost won't be anything to us because that's kind of included in the included product in cost. The price, right. That's why that's why I'm saying you don't really need calculated right here. Um, but we're also going to do we're going to call this expedited. So E S. All right. We're going to put this at nine ninety nine. Now this is this is kind of key. Nobody really knows this, but Nothing really is different between here. Think about a Disney Fast Pass, okay? The mm -hmm. people that, and this happens if, and it's not gonna happen to you, but a lot of people have cash flow problems when it comes mm -hmm. down to them getting paid and then buying products. Yeah. So what you do is you focus on the people that are willing to pay more for the shipping because they're spending more with you. Yeah. So they get first in line to get their products and everybody pays $4.99, they're you know, kind of wait behind them. Yeah. So you're gonna get more people to purchase the $4.99, but you can play around with your shipping rates as you need them, because that's, uh, that's pretty important. Um, you figure that out, but since you're drop shipping, it's included. In and the we're price. doing everything through AliExpress, correct? Yeah, everything's through AliExpress. So that's where you find your suppliers and the individual products where they'll ship one unit. It's called what? Parcel Select or yeah. something? Packet. So, so it's e packet. E packet, so. which is like what? 20, 30 days shipping? Depends. It, sometimes it'll be like three, four days. Oh, okay. So. Um, it actually really depends. You're starting probably in the worst time because February 14th or 12th is when the um, Chinese New Year starts. Yep. So I wouldn't run it during because they they literally go on like a month hiatus. Yeah. You can't yeah. find same anybody. with Amazon. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. So um, so that's that's a thing. Let's see here. Uh, check out. Let's scroll to the bottom again. There we go. Generate this. Generate this. Generate this. So you just use all the sample ones they have. You just generate. Yep. Uh, your all your info is in on the settings, right? Like when you signed up, you entered like your real info and whatnot. Yes. Okay. Cool. So click save. Now what we're also gonna do right over here is um, let me figure out. Oh, there we go. That's what I need. Um, open like a new tab. All right. We're gonna go to pages. Add a page. We're gonna copy these. So refund policy. Oops. So just. Just copy all that and then put them into their own separate. You don't need to do that now, but you okay. can go ahead and copy them. So all you create separate, separate pages on all of these. Yes, exactly. Just for what they are. Yep, just for what is they that are. Just to protect them. yourself more. Or? It is, yeah, and just so I can have it if I want to easily be put into some sort of navigation. So if I want it in the footer menu, I can add it to the footer menu. Also, this is where you're going to have your menus if you want to add. So like different whatnot. categories. Exactly. Yeah. So you like can, you can like do it that YouTube way. YouTube or like. Well, Amazon. that's those are collections. Collections, this, yeah. The menus is again. So you, it's like you can products, have YouTube at the top. Refunds. It, it, if you have like, like YouTube at the top, you can add it in here that way. Um, and something that nobody knows is you actually have a URL shortener right here. So let's just say everything entrepreneur um, slash one two three. It'll go right to any link that you want, so it's your own custom. Oh, okay. So link you can shortly. put it anywhere. Exactly. Okay. So you don't need to use Bitly <laughs> on a Facebook ad or on on YouTube. Oh, okay. It creates it for you right here. And Facebook doesn't mind this link shortener. Exactly, and okay. it looks more professional. Yeah. Rather than you know a Bitly. So the, uh, that's what you have. Um, again, orders pretty simple on what you have. It's essentially building out the face of it now. Mm -hmm. And then the most important part that you're gonna have to figure out, like I said, is the back end. What happens if somebody purchases? Um, Let's just say this light, if or is this a light? Yeah, yeah. it's it's a light. So you purchase a light, and you have higher priced products on your store. What you can do is um, you can have like email sequences that shoot out that way yeah. to say, hey, buy this, buy this, buy this. Um, let's see. And I'm sure we'll get into that later on. Guys. Yeah, we're gonna this we're gonna get to basic a basic setup. Stuff. Yeah. Well, how about add a product real quick? Show them how it's done since I didn't do that yet. All right. So, so what do you think is a good entrepreneur product? Um, let's head over to AliExpress and just. Do you want to do it through a barrel? Show them what that oh, is. Oh, you want to add it through? I thought you wanted to do it manually. Okay, then do Let's it. Let's do a barrel. Yeah, so it. if you guys want to go to Obello, it's under apps here. It's automatically integrated. And this just connects AliExpress directly with your Shopify store. So when someone orders, it automatically places that order, right? Yep. It's okay. a Google Chrome extension, just so you know, just so you're in Google Chrome. Yeah. So uh, what do you think is a good entrepreneur product? Um, okay, so, so when it comes to product selection too, if as unique as you can be, it's hard because everyone has so a selfie product. stick as unique <laughs> as you can be so like this is pretty dang unique every entrepreneur should be wearing this so okay let's add it the avocado green I want it. sleeve peter pan add it i want it in my store 
Uh, are you sure? Yes, let's go. <laughs> it's gonna be your best seller. All right, your price. So it's costing us twenty four eighty five. So we're gonna go for nine nine nine. You are, you are a baller. If I you want get double this. my money. If you guys ever meet me or Tanner and you have this on, you you, you can get a picture for sure. God. All right, it's adding the product. It's hard when it's that much green. <laughs> All right, it's All in right. your store. Ready? You wanna? I know right. you've done this, so. Oh, under products. Here we go. Products. Is that the bottom? Where's my avocado? There it is. Now, do I have to do anything here, anything special, or just change these if I want to? Um, Put there's it in category. It, it really depends on what you want to do here. You can add images in here, like uh, like verified badges, if you will, like PayPal verified uh, yeah. badge. So yep. images like that. Ideally, what you want to do in your description is give as many pictures as you can. Okay. So. I know the images are automatically going to be taken from Oberlo and put into Can your I store. Can I just drag and drop it in here if I wanted to? Uh, well, no. No? But there's a way, all your files are stored on your site. So if you went to settings files, all the files are there. So you can just grab the file, get a uh, get the image and just paste it in. So it's as easy as just pasting it, I don't have to do HTML stuff at all? Yeah, if you click right there, like that, oh, the I see it. insert image, and that's all you have to do. So Got it. Boom. There you go. So cool. you just keep adding different images. And uh, ideally, if you're doing clothing, any product, any product, you want somebody using it, yep. wearing it, showing it actually working. If you can get a video, even better. Um, but ideally, just have the product in use. You can put it into collections. You can have a tag on it if somebody searches in your store. There's so many things that you can go ahead and do. Um, but again, it really depends on how advanced you really want to go. Uh, if you go back to products really quick and then, and then do this, Click on all of them at one time, and then click bulk actions, and then uh, actually click edit products. All right, here's where here's where things get fun. Ready? For purposes of SEO, and I'm not an SEO expert, but uh, things get fun with SEO. You can put tags in there. Or you something? can put page title and URL handle, uh, okay. and you can start editing everything right here. So again, this is this is pretty sloppy. So if you want to just edit it, you can, if you don't want to, you don't have to. You can go ahead and have the title for it. Okay. Um, so you can do this all bulk editing and you can do it with prices as well or quantity. So if you want to have just a hundred of every item on your store, you put a hundred, you drag it and all of them become a hundred. Got it. So it's so, like Excel. Exactly. It's okay, exactly cool. like Excel. Um, so yeah, the first thing, the first kind of action step would be to go out there and set up the, the look and feel of it, getting a logo, kind of branding it and then rolling out some apps to start building your sequences, adding in your Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel, and then um, making sure obviously you have payments in there, making sure that your checkout is set up correctly. Now, I know there's a, I know we're I was gonna say, lot. we're gonna do that next video. Yeah, we're gonna do a lot in the next video. Um, the checkout page is important. Okay. Shopify has a tight leash around their checkout, their thank you page for checkout. So basically. Sending them off Shopify? Yes, you know, there, there's a lot of sneaky stuff that, that you can do um, mm -hmm. because the biggest looked at page on Shopify is when you order, this is anywhere online. When you order something, the, conf, the confirmation page that the order was successful is something everybody looks at, okay. everyone always reads. That page, Shopify doesn't allow you to do much with it, but you can go ahead and um, it's actually in the, in the settings. You can redirect people to like funnels and you can redirect people to an upsell. There's a lot of things okay. that you can do that Shopify doesn't really like. They don't let you have full control, but there's ways around to okay. increase the value. Okay. So we'll get into all that. This was supposed to be just basics. We'll do another one, kind of finishing, setting this up. Like I said, it's going to be every step along the way. Now this won't replace Amazon for me. I am going to be starting a whole new Amazon series with me starting a new store again. So stay tuned for that. If you guys want to follow Dan, I'll put his link in the description and we'll see you guys tomorrow.